Hey, this is John Young. Today we're going to be doing a little test here. This is a couple of different things we're going to be testing. First off, these are the EKX. These are the 15 SPs, this, the powered subs. I've got two of them. I've been playing with trying to get a, a, a sound that's easier for me to carry and such that's going to give me a little more horsepower than the, the Evolve 50s. This could be it here, right here. Up on top, we've got the 12-inch two-way. This is the EKX 12P up there. This is actually the one that uh, was was repaired recently. If you saw that video, that's kind of an interesting little video. So the EKX 15 SP. Now, the only wire is the audio lead coming from the, the office. The rest of it's going to be run off this little 40 volt battery. This is a 300 watt inverter. I'm putting a kilowatt on it so that it can tell us how many watts are being pulled from this configuration. Just wanna get that tucked in there. That's gonna show it right there. So we're gonna be creating our 110 volts of electricity here. This is a pure sine wave inverter. So we're getting good quality, clean power. And then it goes, uh, jumps from there to the outlet strip and empowers the speakers. So we're going to fire this up, get some sound to it, and see exactly what this is going to sound like as we go down about a quarter mile and see if this can throw that long and, and how long this battery, this four amp hour battery is going to run for us. So let's get this powered up. Let's see, first we need to turn this on. And you can see the, and we wanna turn this over to watts. Okay, we're on there, so let's, I'm gonna start the bottom sub. And you can see the wattage as, as it lights up and it's ready to go. Now I'm going to start sub number two. We're pulling about 15 watts with no sound. And you saw it go up a little bit. So we should end up in at 30 some watts as a capacitor. Now I'm going to do the top. We jumped up to 50. 52 and this is sideways I get that I could turn so you guys can see a little bit so we're holding out about 52 53 so let's add some sound to this and we're going to keep track of how long it runs and uh, and give you an idea of how far these speakers throw and that's it it uh it overdrew the uh, inverter. The inverter shut down. It had more draw with the dual subs. And this was wide open pretty much. I sh I, it was very, very loud. Okay, version two. We just turned the volume down. We went from what would be considered high school dance volume level to less than that. So I'm going to shut everything off. The inverter on the first try at that higher volume, it uh, basically timed itself out, or, or I should say it, it was drawing over 300 watts of power for that instant. Okay, let's switch back to volt. Or excuse me, watts. Right there, and we'll power up. Let's see, are we, we're still there. Oh yeah, we've got sound yet. So we dropped the volume down to what would be considered more of a wedding volume level. I initially had it at a high school volume level, so we were just to the point with the first test um, when I tested it indoors, just before there were any kind of limiting things that were starting to pop up. There was no limiting, but it was really, really loud. So we brought it down, basically on the, the uh, Denon board, taking it from three o'clock to back to 12 o'clock. It's really warm, by the way, today. So it's at a wedding volume now. And as you, you saw when, uh, before I started walking away here to see how far it's gonna carry, that put us at a draw, a consistent draw showing on that of about 65 to 70 watts. The first test, we bounced into the 200s. And because of, we're dealing with subwoofers and their pull, that massive draw that they have, it exceeded that 300 watt inverter. And it just went over it. Didn't drain the battery. The battery is still um, showing fully charged but it, it exceeded the wattage that the inverter could pr provide. So now we backed it off, and now I am probably 
oh, I guess I would say about an eighth of a mile, roughly, somewhere in that ballpark from those speakers. And we are still hearing them. A little bit of a headwind coming at us actually, which will keep it from the throw. What I wanna do is I wanna to get to the end here, which will put us at, at oh yeah, somewhere in that, uh, that, that 800 feet to 1,000 feet away. That will, I wanna see with the next song, hopefully there's some bass for the next song. I don't know, I'm just, just streaming something. Uh, just had the streaming going on from Sonos and that's what's feeding the system. So we may or may not hear any sub sound out here, but that's really what I'm after is I wanna hear what those 15s can do and as I was listening to Van Halen on the walk, we were still hearing that subwoofer type type response. But now we're out here towards the end of this uh, of this little road right there that marks the 700 foot point. And we'll go a little bit farther. So here's lesson number one. If you're doing an audio test and you're going to be showing off everything, I can hear the sound system and I can hear the bass and things. And again, we have a wind coming from the back now as that way is that way is where the speakers are. Uh, if you have more control over the music. I went from a Van Halen song that had instrumentation and such to Angel Eyes. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I can hear it. The vocals sound good and I can tell the song and I can hear the instrumentation at this distance. Just turn you around here. Cause it's way up in there right about in that area b that's playing through some trees and some vehicles and things yeah you can definitely you can hear the bass line and it's not a a super bassy type song so liking the throw from this combination of speakers so now we're going to go head back in after they've been playing a little while and see what that kilowatt is going to tell us if we're still pulling that 60 to 70 watts and we'll put up probably a little more of a dancey type tune in there obviously ballady type songs which this is aren't going to draw as much bass as something that's a little more driving so we're going to find something on a different streaming channel that'll give us a little bit more of a driving type feel So here we are at one hour of runtime, and you can see we've, get, we've been pulling about that, our, our wattage there is about that 80 or 90, and, uh, and off we go. We just shut the music down, and now let's take a look here. We're still in the 50s. We've got a little blower fan going here to cool off the inverter. It's about 90 some and have very high humidity. I wanted to do this on a hot day. So we have that all figured out and going here. Still pulling about 54 because we've got cooling fans that are going right now. In all of the speakers are, are have got their fans are, are running right now. So you're seeing that we're pulling about 54 watts, 55 watts of power. Let's take a look again at that inverter. That inverter still has two lights on it. Now this test has I ended up doing and running it for over an hour of runtime. There was audio coming out for over an hour. We had two uh, two times where it shut off. One time in the beginning. It shut off right away when I was pulling over the 300 watts. It was giving me, what, 225 on that. And then it just shut off because I was pulling too much wattage. Brought it back down to, to wetting level and ran it for a little while. Then we were pulling about 100 watt. I went to dance music, some heavy, heavy uh, kind of a, a techno type dance music. Then I lost it again because it was way too much. Actually, it was Miami bass is what it was. That was it. Miami bass... Um, a playlist there that took it out again because it was pulling too much even though this was running at about a consistent 100 110 watt on the kilowatt that was too much when you hit that miami base it, it went for probably about 10 seconds and then it, yeah, maybe 20 seconds then it shut off so took it down went to pop music then i i had the volume so we were doing about 107 decibels in front when you we see that that was peaking out at about 107 db then it ran in this, it ran at 70, 60 to 80, and that's what we ran for an hour. We still have two bars left. I would say we might have another 15 minutes to be safe, so that would give you maybe an hour and 15 at that volume and at that draw. Now, obviously, if you're doing ceremony, you're probably not going to run two subs. You may not run any subs. You might be running two tops. Well, this is sucking more than two tops really quite, quite easily. This particular unit uh, will give us 300 watts of that, of, of the 
pure sine wave power. It powered these three for an hour of runtime at what would be above, it was, we wouldn't be able to carry on much of a conversation right here, you know, six feet in front of it. But if we went about 30 feet away, it was, a, it was higher than a cocktail. It was to the point where you would ask the DJ to turn it down at about 35, 40 feet away outside. So it, it filled this area, it filled you know, 120 feet away, 130 feet away. It still sounded really good and I was hearing everything from the music. So you've got some really great cabinets that are gonna have that throw and you can do it with a Ryobi inverter. This is John Young here. Thank you for watching.